How's it going guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews and this is my final thought on the X-Men franchise. Uh, first of all, I do want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed during uh, my review of all these movies. I appreciate it so very much and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody who liked videos. Everybody who left a comment, everybody who shared my videos, thank you so very much. And it, it does, I, I know every YouTuber says it means a lot to them, but it, it really does. I've been doing this channel for a long time, and to be quite honest, I was stagnant. And it's nice to see that I'm connecting with people, and uh, you're liking what I'm putting out, and I'm going to put out much much more coming up guys and stuff's gonna change and it's gonna be awesome but let's get into my final thought. like i said if it wasn't for the fox franchise and the spider-man franchise we would never have the mcu we would have never got the first x-men movie was very much a product of its time the matrix was out at the same time in the same time frame and that's why we got the, the fucking leather suits. Uh, but as it went on, you started seeing the cracks. Like, X-Men's great. X-Men United's amazing. Last Stand sucked. Oh, we got to reboot it with First Class. First Class is amazing. Now we're going to jump to Days of Future Past. Days of Future Past is amazing. I kind of feel they didn't really, like, adapt Days of Future Past properly for my preference but it was good for what it is then we moved into uh x-men uh was it uh x-men uh x-men apocalypse Whew. and that was a swing and a miss and then we moved to x-men dark phoenix that was a swing and a miss we got the the origins movies movie because they didn't go through with the other side stories and then we got the Wolverine, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, and just to go back to X-Men Origins Wolverine, remember, Gavin Hood fucked up Deadpool. Blame him. Just remember, blame him for the fucked up Deadpool. And it taking so long for us to get a legit Deadpool movie. Uh, and then we got Logan, which blew our minds. First, uh, second rated R movie, and it was just insane insane good an adaptation of the old man logan story then we got then before that we got deadpool then we got deadpool 2 and then we got new mutants which new mutants was a good concept it was the end of the franchise before the buyout it was a good concept and i i still believe we should have got like a main movie a couple of like spin-off movies then a main movie a couple of spin-off movies then a main movie stuff like that and i think it would have been great and i think fox would still be there dominating but they just took a bath and went downhill on all these just lame movies why are you going to do another dark phoenix story when the first ones did it Qu quite honestly i think it's hubris like oh fuck that director sucked but i'm a good director and i could do it and you sucked at it too the fox x-men franchises the fox x-men franchise was amazing for its time Qu quite frankly because of the mcu mcu was putting out better movies and they were telling a better story than what fox was doing fox was fox was currently always playing catch-up much like dc they were just always playing catch-up to the mcu instead of just focusing and using the ips they had they had so many things they could do and they just messed it up and they they had deadpool and deadpool made tons of money and it, it could have been in some timeline <laughs> the mcu failed and the Fox X-Men series lived on. What would we have gotten? I wonder. I wonder. Would we have gotten an Alpha Flight movie? Would we have gotten uh, like a legit X-Force movie? Not just a little bit in the Deadpool, uh, Deadpool movie. But like a legit X-Force movie. Maybe an X-Factor movie. Instead of getting the TV version of Generation X. 
Maybe we would have got a Generation X movie because we had that cool girl who was playing Jubilee in this. I loved going back and watching these movies. Uh, it was very fun and very cool to do all these reviews uh, leading up to my Deadpool and Wolverine review, which I will link right here. And it, it was all amazing. And it was a great walk down nostalgia lane and everything it was, everything that was bad about it, got me in a lot of good conversations with people, uh, people at work, people just casually talking about stuff. And, and it was great. And I would have loved to see this franchise uh, continue. And do I think Kevin Feige is taking his goddamn sweet time giving us the X-Men? Yes, 100%. And do I think that's a problem because that's what people want? Do I believe you should give people what they want? Not necessarily. I think as a company putting out films, I think you need to stay on your course. But you do also need to listen to the fans and turn that course to what people really want. People want the Fantastic Four. We're finally getting the Fantastic Four coming out next year. And I'm very, very excited about it. We've been getting drops of the X-Men in our movies. We have Professor X in Multiverse of Madness. Like, legit, like, cartoon uh, Professor X in the chair. And it was amazing. Uh, in the Marvels, we got, like, legit Beast. Uh... And Kelsey Grammer came back and did the voice warm. And it, it was fucking amazing. Again, it was very cartoon Beast, but it was still Beast. And, and now what Deadpool did, I have a theory about what's going to happen with the MCU. I want to put a cap before I start talking about Deadpool and Wolverine because there was some stuff that I said I was going to talk about in this film. I loved these movies, these movies shaped my life, especially as a comic book fan. I was like, oh, I'm so glad I'm getting to see these on the big screen and live action adaptations. And I loved it. Loved it. Thank you, Fox, for what you gave us. Fuck you, Fox, for what you gave us. We'll never forget it. And going into Deadpool and Wolverine, the end credit scene, uh, not the end credit scene for the movie, but during the credits, they showed a lot of great uh, back uh, behind the scenes footage from all the Fox movies. The X-Men, Elektra, Daredevil, Blade, all that stuff. And it was absolutely amazing. It made me cry. And it was a great send-off, yet a nice love letter to the Fox franchise. And I'm so glad they did it. And it, it was amazing. And I appreciate it. Going into the cameos that we got in Deadpool and Wolverine, we got Blade, we got Chris Evans coming back as Johnny Storm. That was amazing, especially what they did with him, letting him cuss for like a good, like I'd have to say that was a three minute monologue of him just cussing and how Cassandra Doe is just a disgusting bitch. I, oh, I fucking loved it. And I loved how they did it. That Deadpool's like, oh, girl, go on. <laughs> like, all this shit. And it was fucking amazing. We got Jennifer Garner as Elektra. And they talked about Daredevil. And she's like, eh, it's okay. Uh, we They talked about Punisher. Um, unfortunately, I would have loved to have seen Thomas Jane this movie. Because we couldn't get... Um, uh, uh, Stevens, because he died. Re he died recently. He died before the making of this film. Uh, but I would have loved. I would have loved to see him. Blade, and him and Ryan Reynolds have a great back and forth, because knowingly that Ryan Reynolds just couldn't stand Wesley Snipes on the set of Blade, because Wesley Snipes was being a fucking asshole on the set of Blade, and it. Uh, Blade Trinity when they did it and it was just awesome and we get <laughs> and I'm so glad they did this and uh, and I'm so glad we got this we got Channing Tatum Channing Tatum comic book accurate gambit yes 
his accent sounds fucking stupid. But fucking A, he looked good. Oh man, he fucking looked good. And he was good. Like, he was with the cards and like the way he threw it. Like the back and forth with Daredevil, the back and forth with Wolverine. It was absolutely fucking amazing. And they just... <laughs> he tried so hard for this movie. Getting the dialect coach for he could have the Creole, Creole accent and all that and they just fucked him and fucked him and like directors like left and came back and left and came back and then like he just and he tried so hard to get it done and he had a passion for it like legitimately he had a passion for doing this role and I'm glad Ryan Reynolds gave him that chance and he looked fucking amazing give it up to good guy Ryan Reynolds you just it was awesome and I loved it. I loved everything about doing these reviews for you guys. And I take this channel very seriously. I put everything I have into it. Pretty much when I'm not working or sleeping, I'm putting time into this channel, coming up with reviews, picking cool weeks to do and everything else. And I just love doing this. I do. And I give a big kiss to the Fox X-Men franchise. And I thank you guys for watching this uh, video and just thank you. Thank you so very much for everything you do. And this was a great send off for this franchise. I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, thank you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.